What is up and welcome back. So I've been missing an action. I haven't been feeling the greatest. As you know, a couple weeks ago, I wasn't feeling the best and I kept trying to push forward and push forward and it would come and go, come and go. But I have been tested, like I told you guys, I got some tests a while back for the situation that's going on in the world. Everything's good with that. Like I said, if you've been with me for a while, I talk about this, you know, all the time. Around fall, as a kid, I've always gotten sick. My asthma, allergies, sinuses, all that. So, hence no makeup. I was going to put a little bit of makeup on. I was like, I'm just going to put on my skincare and my lip stuff and roll with it. So... I look pretty rough, but let's go ahead and do this haul, and man, we've got a lot to get into. Um, I thought about making a video tonight, but I think I'm going to chill, do it tomorrow. I did a lot of cleaning today. I was like, push forward, push forward, push forward, so, <clears throat> excuse me, so, oh, of course I got nothing to drink. Let me grab something to drink right quick. Sorry, sorry. I got the tags on of these shorts. I got this PJ set and the shorts are way too big. So I'm like, do I sell the shorts in my consignment stuff? Do I have them hemmed at my grandma's seamstress? So I'll probably get them hemmed, but I keep leaving the tag going debating like, do I sell them in my consignment stuff? So what I do every year is you guys know that I have my key items that I like. Makeup brushes, blankets, those are like my makeup brushes, blankets, comforters, pillow shams, those are my jams. So let's go ahead and get into what I got and let's just get started. So good old watermelon juice. I know it's not the best, but I kept drinking water after water and I was like, man, I need something. So been a kind of sipping on this while I clean. Gosh, you guys. I'm so used to not, like, I have my coffee all the time, you guys know that, and it has just been trials and tribulations. Um, today was the first day I went anywhere. Unfortunately, guys, we missed the fair. I just could not do it. I was feeling too rough, and I thought, you know what? I don't have the money to go, and this stuff I got, I always get a gift card for Christmas, Target, TJ Maxx, JCPenney's, Kohl's. My family doesn't know what to get me because I buy stuff all through the year, as you guys know. So, what I do is I save my gift cards throughout the year and get things as I need them. So, that is where the stuff came from. So, I was like, man, I've been finding some really cool stuff on sale. So, let's just get into it. All right. So, good old watermelon juice. It's the Evolution Fresh brand, Mighty Watermelon. I drink this and the other one I've showed you. I forget what the other one is. The other one is way, way less sugar and way less calories. But like I said, I've been drinking ice water, so I need something. Okay, let's get into first things first, and then we'll just go down the line. Um, it's mostly, well, it is mostly Target. I have like two things from Meyer, and I think like two things from Walmart. I don't know if I showed you the Walmart things. Bear with me, but it's only two things. I can't remember, so I was like, let me just show them so I can get all this stuff hauled and put away. Okay, so the first things first, I don't discriminate. I like blankets, kids' blankets, adults' blankets. I don't discriminate. So what I do is I always lay down a comforter, okay? So I always lay down a comforter. And then I go from there. And it's like, with the dogs, they'll climb on me at night. So usually I have a backup blanket that I lay at the end of the bed for the dogs to lay on. Or I'll bundle up if it gets extra cold. You guys know my house is super old. So I always like to have like an extra blanket dole on top. So the first thing that I purchased is called Christian... Christian Robertson. And this is the Jersey Comforter Set... Brush for softness, machine washable, and this is a twin size. So this was regularly $35, and I got this for $10.50. And it came with one sham and then this little comforter. It is a twin. So it says one standard uh, sham and one comforter. So here's that, and I will show you. I wait to unravel it. So here's the item number. I will, if you want to, screenshot Thank <laughs> you. 
And again, it is the Jersey Comforter set, and it's a twin size, and it's from Pillow Fort, and it's Christopher Robinson. I love the Pillow Fort stuff. Basically, the Pillow Fort stuff, I've showed their shams before. It's like the kid's Target brand. And then, let's just go ahead before I get ahead of myself and go down the line. So, here's the comforter. It's very soft. It's got pink. It's got brown. It's got blue and yellow. And it's just a really soft, kind of like a brushed. It feels like a t-shirt, but only like really soft. So, it's got these ridges down it and then... It's just a twin size, so I figure put this at the end of the bed or, you know, winter is here. And it's just, like I said, a really nice striped comforter. So I thought for $10.50, it's a twin size. I can use it to cover up. Sugar Bear gets beside me, Simon. You know, I've got $10.50 in it. It's not, you know, an expensive comforter that, you know, if it gets thrashed and trashed or puppy paw prints that I'm like, oh my goodness. I've got too much money in it. So here's the sham that it comes with. Now, I did see it's got like a little spot here, but it's just where the fabric. First, I thought it was ink. So really nice. I like like some of these I sleep on and some I use as decoration. But with this comforter or I mean the t-shirt material, I would definitely sleep on this. And like I said, for $10.50, you know, if I get like hair mask or hair oil on it, you know, it'll do me a couple months, but really good. I mean, nice quality. So I got that and you got one sham with that and that was 1050 regularly 35. So there's that. Okay. And moving right along to the next item while we were here, I got this, but we'll get to that in a minute. I only got the shams of that the other day on sale. This is kind of like a couple trips broke up. And like I told you guys, what I do is, is I haul it all at once. So this is a set here. It came with two king size shams and it's like a lovely blue velvet. And I've showed you before, I have the silver one of this and then I have some of the hot pink velvet shams. This is the Opal House brand. Hold on, I'm backing myself in over here. <laughs> so it's a reversible comforter and it's got this flower print, the Opal House tag. I really like the Opal House brand and this is king size set up back over here but it's really nice like I said and reversible so you could do this like the spring or the summer I know this is the you know the greatest for winter excuse me but with my washing machine situation I was like I can't do it no more I can't and the one that I have one is the one I got I think it was like super cheap if you haven't seen my Kohl's one that is the one that I've been rocking and I was like I can't do it I'm going to get a washer, like, in the next week. But I was like, I can't do it. And then, I, like I said, I got all this for a great price. And so, this is the Opal House brand. This was regularly $69. I got this for $34.50. And it is a king size. Now, there was a bunch of different ones. So, this came with one comforter and two king size shams. And this is the Reversible Velvet Comforter Set. So there's a ton of Opal House stuff on sale. There's pillows. There's like this big lounge thing that's like a pillow that lifts up and then it folds up. I've really been looking at it for the last couple months. It was really 40 bucks on sale for 20 I thought about getting it for the dogs. It's like a giant, like, it's like, you know, those pillows that have like three sections and then it's got the back and you can fold them up bundle it up but there's tons this opal house brand non-sponsored is awesome so there's that and here's the item number if you guys want to screenshot that again non-sponsored so i thought this was a cool little set that's reversible and basically i got all this for the price of this originally Okay, so moving right along, let's stick to the theme of this. So I picked up two of these. These were regularly $15 and these were $4.50. It's these printed shams. And here's the item number. Hopefully you can see. 
and you can pause. And this is Opal House. Again, this is called Jungalo. And this is the theme. And I will show you right quick. I picked up two of these. You guys, for $4.50, these are so sturdy. They have like the back here. Got your Opal House tag. And then they fold in. That is just really sturdy. And it's like, I got two. That way, you know, if they get thrashed, come, you know, unseam. But they're very sturdy. And then it's soft enough if I want to sleep on it or use it for decoration. Or if I get something else that matches it. Nine bucks for two shams when they were regularly. Yeah, nine bucks for both when they were regularly 15. So that's less than one. So I wasn't going to get two. And I was like, you know what? You're going to go back. And there's not going to be another one. So you might as well. Okay. So speaking of the next item and not having another one, I kicked myself in the tail for this. So I seen this the other day with my grandma, probably about two weeks ago. And like I said, I try to stack things up. I don't want to do a haul with one, two, three items. I found these curtains the other day. These are the Opal House Tassel Trim Light Filtering Velvet Curtain. Filters sunlight to allow natural room light. Offers moderate privacy. And these are really nice. And they just have like green tassels. Now, they're 95 inches, so I'm probably going to have to get these trimmed down. But I think these are really cute. And here is skew hopefully you guys can see this and these were regularly $36 and they were 18 there was three left on clearance and when I looked for the other ones they were gone so I always say if you guys find things like this matches get what you need and then you can always take it back if you don't need it oh so now I have one but in the middle room here Sugar Bear, there's like a sheer green curtain this color. And for her looking at the window, it's kind of got a little shreddy. So I'll probably clip it or just donate it. And then somebody could still use the top of it and just, you know, clip the bottom up, seam it. Or maybe I'll take it to my seamstress, use it for the camper or something, and just have her cut where, you know, it's it's not basically where she tries to move the curtain and look out. Like if I've had it closed at night or something. It's just a little. So, I thought with this velvet that, you know, she wouldn't be able to do that. And it's very thick and sturdy. Again, I'm kicking myself in the tail. So, it's Wrigley 36, again, 18. Why didn't I get another one of these? Why? And, you know, non-sponsored, always sign up for Target Rewards. It even if you don't have a Target card, it allows you to buy stuff. And then your next thing, it, like, adds up. And then you can add, like... Usually I have like a dollar or two, depending how much. But you can add that towards your next purchase, and it's money off. So it's the Target Circle, again, not sponsored. And it just helps with, you know, like I said, it's a dollar. I mean, depending how much you spend. Some people get, repeating guy keeps telling me about this uh, vegan pizza dip or something. And I keep trying to find it, and I cannot find it anywhere. And I'm like, ugh. So, repeating guy, I know you probably won't watch this. It probably ain't your jam, but you got me on the hunt for that Target pizza dip. So, hopefully I feel better. We're going to get back to trucking this week. We've got our Halloween party. We're still going to do that. So, I've got a little, you know, bits and bobs of snacks planned for that. And I'll show you a little bit when we get to it. We've got some snacks of the day and like some folly snacks. So, this is really cool. So, this is the medium weight PAVA self-draining mesh pockets organizer. And this is the Room Essentials brand shower curtain with liner pockets. So, check this out. So, it's got little pockets in here. Say you're washing your face and you want to set your soap down. Or, you know, I wouldn't like leave my stuff chilling there, but... If I'm shaving my legs, want to put the shaving cream in or, you know, my face wash, whatever. So, it's got little pockets in it. This was regularly $15 and this was $7.50. And I like to change my shower curtain. Like, I'll have the plastic one inside every couple months and then, you know, your fabric one outside. But 
you know, giving the dogs a bath or me rinsing them off with the shower thing. I really just like to change these ever so often. I really hope you guys are seeing this. But like I said, Room Essentials, medium weight, P-E-A, excuse me, P-E-V-A, shower curtain liner with pockets. And again, on clearance. Oh, no. Hold on. I'm losing you guys. Oh, goodness. How in the world I must have used my phone while I was cleaning to listen. There is a lot going on. We got to catch up. And don't you worry. It's probably a good thing that I chilled out and have been sick. Because I probably would not have a channel if I would have reacted a couple days to the whole Pete's and the cat situation with the cat bowls. We'll get to that, though, in a different video. This is already getting long for a haul, but it's probably a good thing I chilled out the last couple days and really didn't get into it that day because, honey. Mm. But we'll talk about that, like I said. Um, mm. Y'all, I was heated. Get down, Mr. Wiggs. No, get down, please. Okay, so speaking of shower curtains... When I first moved here, the bathroom had like just, you know, everyday handprints, people, you know, grabbing the hand towel and, you know, guys coming in, my brother and stuff and everybody working on their cars and trucks where they would lean on the bathroom with, you know, their oily hands and just everyday wear and tear. So it was a really light yellow. So my crazy towel painted at this weird, like, I'll show you. It's down at the camper, too. I painted it this weird blue aqua type situation type deal. So, finding a shower curtain has been a go-getter. If you've seen my parodies, a lot of the time I do them in the bathroom, and that's my backdrop, that shower curtain. So, I found this one today. This is the Opal House Jungalow again shower curtain, and here's the print. I know it's really hard to see. And I'll show you guys again in the bathroom. So it's kind of like this terry cloth. Um, I'm sure you guys will see it. And I do have parodies and stuff planned, guys. Um, it's like some leaves and maybe it looks like some deer. But the bathroom's kind of like this light tillish blue. Um, not my favorite pick for, but it's still been, so I've had my shower curtain for a while. It's still definitely nice, but I want to wash it, put it up, just a little change of scenery in there. <laughs> if I'm going to be stuck here, you guys know I kind of like had my hopes up with moving, but I'm going to be stuck here. So I'm like, I need to kind of spruce it up a little bit, kind of put a little bit of love into this place, you know, pay some bills take care of some things, build my credit up. So if I'm going to be stuck here, I need to get this place a little bit more. Okay, so there's that there. Uh, the only thing I don't like, like I said, it's this terry cloth. A lot of them were. Hopefully this doesn't, like I'm going to have to wash it on cold or really like warm so it doesn't shrink. But um, I just need a change of scenery in there. Everything else is cool, my decor, but I just needed something to like... Um, just change the scenery, honestly. Just a little something different. Okay, Mr. Wiggs, can I set this down here? Thank you. Okay, staying on topic and friends. And then we'll get to bits and bobs and some food stuff. I could not resist, again, winners around the bend. I've got a little cubby here on the side of my bed. Like I said, this house is really old. It's kind of got like that loft style, so there's like a cubby over here. So what I'm going to do is, is like a purge of blankets. I've got dog blankets. Sometimes what I do is I use old bed blankets or old throws for the dogs. I need to go through things. What can't be donated to Salvation Army, take to the animal shelter. So guys, if you have old blankets, towels, things like that, your animal shelter, wash them up, even if they're holy. Or a lot of the times, if you have brothers, cousins, husbands, you can cut them, you know, like the towels and stuff and use them to clean your cars. But a lot of the times I just donate them to the shelter because, you know, if they get a call, an animal, you know, it's cold winter or something, they can take them. Or if they need, you know, just to bathe the animals or whatever. So that's a lot of the times what I do. You know, of course, really nice blankets. I donate them to, you know, the homeless shelters 
and things like that. But if there's, you know, something that is just, you know, the dogs have thrashed, donate it, use it, use them to clean with rags, whatever. So this is the Opal House Vintage Rug Textured Velvet Quilt. Machine washable, it's 88 inches by 92 inches. Simon just, whoo. So, the, sorry guys, I like literally was, this is a full queen. So this was regularly $79, this was $23.50. It is very thick, I really like these, like I said, to cover up with. It's like a really soft, it's not velvet, but it's really like a, it's got texture to it. It does almost feel like a velvet, like a smashed crushed velvet. And this would be a great Christmas gift. I mean, I would love, to, you guys, for 23 bucks, 23 bucks and 70 cents, this would be a great Christmas gift. So that's what it looks like. And, yeah, so basically it's like I got this set, I got the little cheap kids set, all basically for the price of the king size blue one. And there's that nice, I got a gnat flying around. I've got the windows open. I was like, you know what, I've been sick, it's nice. I'm going to open the windows, get some air rolling through here. I swept the dog's bed. I freaking... I was like, I need some air rolling up through here. <laughs> like, so I got that window open. I got a fan rolling through the other. And I just like to let fresh air in, especially being sick. And then with the dogs, they get fresh air when they're not outside. And it just kind of opens up the place, freshens up the air. Okay, let's see here. Moving it right along. So I don't know if I showed this. I could not pass this up. I got this a couple weeks ago, and this was $3. I did a walkthrough Halloween video with me, so I will put that up too. And you can kind of get a peek of what this year's pumpkins look like. Um, so it's got fabric on it, and I thought for 3 bucks, that's a really cool. It's got like the ombre blue to purple, and then it's got a cool little stem here. And I thought this was a really cute deal for three bucks. This is just, it says large pumpkin, uh, Crescent Enterprise. And I'm just, this is like, I got this in like, you know, the $1, $2, $3, $5, $4 section when you first walk in. Some people call it the dollar area. So that is just a cool little pumpkin. And I thought I really liked the bat print. That's what drew me and the ombre. Okay. Do the okay, I went a little crazy. I was like, oh, you guys, there are so many, and I'm waiting on a pair to get delivered. They had them in the store, and I'd already ordered them online. There are so many. It's called Bobble Bar by Sugar Fix. There's little guitars. There's little footballs. There's little cheerleading things. Look online, it's Bobble Bar by Sugar Fix. And this is the brand here. If you've got a daughter that plays uh, tennis or does ballet, there were little cheerleading ones. There's tons of Halloween ones. The ones I got on the way look like uh, little Frappuccinos and they got a pumpkin one. So these are the Shake and Bake. And these were $12.99 and they're nickel free. So they're like little chef's hats and then they've got like rhinestones around here in black and like a printed and they're like oven mitts. But I thought they're cute too. They almost look like winter mittens. So I ordered a pair here. They were in store and I was like, well, already on the way. So got those. Guys, I went a little crazy. There's some cool earrings out right now. And I picked up these. These are nickel free as well. These were $9.99. And they're just little locket hearts. I thought these are a good like every day. Throw on a sweater, a sweatshirt, you know, not something. So, you know, I love my statement earrings. But these are just a cool little every day little earring. And they're really nice quality. I mean... They're 10 bucks, but the Bobble Bar, this is again Bobble Bar Sugar Fix non sponsored. Um, they're really nice quality for 10 bucks. 
And then you know how I am with my pens and pencils and my notes. I got these. These are called Looking Sharp. And they are like a ivory fake looking. And they're like a pencil. I know, I know, I'm cheesy, but I was like, I'm always writing stuff down, my notes. You could do like a light pink sweater, or you've got this like fake looking, like ivory looking. You've got pink here, the light pink. You've got the regular rhinestones, a little bit of orange. You've got the gold, black. These, I've got a couple of sweaters. These would look nice, but I was like, I kept looking at them and I was like, Half of these, there was like only one or two. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back and they're going to be going. These are off the Richter scale. These are called extra butter. And it says, roll the credits, please. Are those not everything? So you got pearl right here. And then it's got the fake little popcorn up here in gold. And you know I love stars. And I was like, these are off the Richter scale. And these are all Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar, non-sponsored again. Nickel free, of course. Honey. Are those not everything? You guys, these are really good quality earrings. And I thought the attention to detail is just really nice to this brand. Okay, but it doesn't stop there. Again, I had these and I put these back. These are called Fizz It Up. And these are like a Coca-Cola soda bottle. They've got kind of like that tortoise shell looking. And these are really sturdy, you guys. Like, it's got the pearls up here, the pearl detail. And I put these back, and I was like, you know what? They're going to end up being going. So, again, these are called Fizz It Up Sugar Fix. You guys, there were so many different ones. I had to contain myself. And last but not least, I don't know, I kept looking at these two, but these are again, even like, this is pajamas, but still if I was doing like a video, these are just some nice classic hearts. Got like enamel here and good quality. They really truly are. So again, they're nickel free and I like that. And uh, yeah, so I think online that there was white in here that I seen. But if you have a daughter or son, like I said, that plays tennis, there were football, there were cheerleading ones, there was different, like, black cats, there were witch tassel ones, the pumpkin latte, again, Sugar Fix by Bobble Bart, non-sponsored. There's, like, an apron. There is so many different cool eyes. Like, these are really cool statement earrings that I'm like, oh, my God, Kaya. I was like, well, there goes that Christmas gift card. But you guys, I really did get a lot of stuff. I mean, the, the earrings were the most priciest thing. I think I had like 150 on my gift card. And I got, like I said, all three of these blanket sets for basically the price of this velvet one. Okay, bits and bobs and bits and bobs. And then we'll move on. Like I said, I only got like two things from Target and two things from Meyer. Okay, so I got plenty of stuff for us to try, but I wanted to show you guys the stuff before we try it in case there was something that you're like, ooh, that looks good. But then if I show you right before Halloween or we do it throughout the week, it might be gone. So this is called Favorite Day, and this is the Rustic Pumpkin Spice Trail Mix. So I'll read you right quick. It says, with pumpkin spice peanuts... Cinnamon-flavored pretzel balls, yogurt-covered raisins, and pumpkin seed kernels limited offering. And this is called Favorite Day. And I like it's resillable. So I thought this is really good something to snack on while we're doing a video. Not the healthiest, but better than, you know, a candy bar or something. And this Favorite Day brand had so much stuff out, so... Again, this is the favorite day. These are the candy apple pretzels limited offering. And there was a pumpkin spice one, but I thought, you know what? I've got pumpkin spice stuff. Let's do the candy apple. Okay. And then I got, when I showed these the other day. I got these at Target. This is the pumpkin spice hot chocolate bomb. I did get one of these at 
um, Walmart the other day. So, keep your eyes peeled at your Walmarts, but I got these two at Target, but I did see this regular one at Walmart. So, we'll get into those this week, and then I got, again, this Favorite Day brand had tons of stuff out. These are the Maple Truffle Butter Cookies. We tried these last year. Again, they're limited offering, like a fall. These are banging. So what they are, they're a chocolate cookie with like a shortbread and they have like, it kind of like a maple caramel type drizzle. Fantastic for the price point of these cookies. Um, I think you get like two, three, I think two rows if I'm not mistaken. Not a ton, but for the price point, um, my silly tell there was 20% off that day. And I didn't realize that I had to load it to my Target app. So I get to the register, get all this stuff. And I'm like, yes, 20% off. But there was people behind me. And I was like, whatever, just do it. And then I picked this up from Kroger. This is the Autumn Spice Trail Mix. Autumn Spice Peanuts, Dried Cranberries, Salted Whole Cashews, Almonds, and White Chocolate Chips. And this I got, like I said, at Kroger. And then I also picked this up at the Dollar Tree. These are the Mellow Cream Autumn Mix. It's basically like Autumn Mix candy corn. So yeah, I thought for a dollar, there's a nice size amount for a dollar. And um, that's just the perfect amount. So a lot of people take the candy corn. Let me know if you've had it. Mix it with like the peanuts and you get like the salty and then the sweet. So I thought this would be cool for us to try this week. And again, the Dollar Tree. And then I had never ever seen these. Where did I get these? These are the Red Vines Twist. So they're like a licorice. And they are candy corn flavored. Where did I pick these up at? I think I picked these up at Target, or excuse me, Kroger. So yeah, candy corn licorice. I was like, that ought to be good times. Okay, so we got plenty of little snacks to try this week. Um, our Halloween party, like I said, I'm going to make like a charcuterie board. We're going to do different things. So don't worry, guys. I'm sorry about being under the weather I guess better now than, you know, Halloween, but, you know, better now than I guess next week. So, um, okay, so Meyer is a store I always talk about, and it is like a souped up Walmart, but it's 20 times better in my opinion. The quality of stuff is so much better quality, and it's got tons of unique stuff, different brands I always find Meyer clearance. I would say 90% of my dish towels other than Kohl's are from Meyer. So I seen these the other day and I was like, oh, and I had a couple minutes to kill before counseling and the doctor. And I was like, God, what? dish towels are another one of my jam. If you haven't, if you've been with me for a while, dish towels are another one of my little weaknesses. Um, I really need to stop and I probably... I've got some for a giveaway, actually. So, we'll probably do a giveaway Halloween. Um, so, these were 75% off. These were $2.25. And the brand is called Homeware. And it is a set. And it says, love to stir the pot. And I thought, that's funny. We love to stir the pot over here. And then it's got this one with like the different kitchen appliances, cookie cutters, pots, whisks, spatulas, blender, mixing, all that. So they're more like a tea towel, like the quality of like a tea towel. So usually I use these ones as decorations, um, you know, but I figured that's $2.25. That's like, what, a dollar... 12 a towel. And then I picked these up. You guys know absolutely how much I love reusable strolls. And they're so expensive. So these were 75% off. And I got these for 325 
and I'll probably put, um, I have this one already, so I might actually, if you guys don't care, of course, I would put it in a baggie, sanitize it. I'll probably put, like, maybe two of these, like, in one giveaway and then another, or, like, maybe three. Um, but I have this, like, ombre-looking one, and it's in really good shape still, so maybe I'll kind of break this down. Obviously, I'll put it in a baggie, you know, make sure it's sanitary, but, um, this is the EL... E-L-L-O brand, and it's BPA-free, and um, it's easy to clean, dishwasher safe. I don't have a dishwasher. It works well with tumblers. FDA, food grade, no more plastic, eco-friendly. So I thought for $3.25, like I said, I can probably break, like, I'll probably put, like, these two in a giveaway or maybe one in one. Either way, I thought for three twenty five, dollars I was like, why didn't I get another pack for a giveaway? But I want to get through the giveaway stuff that we have now. So I was like, you don't need more stuff laying around, Kai. You can always share with them. Okay, last but not least, we are at the last bag here. So I picked up this, and I think I have, if I'm not mistaken, I have a Walmart and a Target Halloween walkthrough that I need to put up. So I'll put those up for you guys. And this was $0.98, cents, and it's just a really cool pumpkin. It's kind of scratchy, but it is on there. Oh, I just swept. All right, hold on. I'm making a mess. Okay, but... For $0.98, cents, I thought, cute little pumpkin. I have a lot, but I'll probably, you know, if I don't find a place, I can switch him out next year. But I thought, for $0.98, cents, he's pretty cool. And he still is sparkly, but he's brown. And I like the little stem. So, Walmart with that. And then, I don't know if I've showed you guys this. I apologize if I have. I don't think I have, but... You guys know that Stitch reminds me of Simon because of the ears. So, that is why Stitch reminds me of Simon is because the big old bat ears. I don't know. So, these are velvet. And these are really nice. So, like I said, I'm about to do a big purge. Blankets, pajamas, clothes. What I do is I sell my stuff at the consignment store, and then what doesn't sell, I donate. So I'm about to do a giant purge. Like I said, if I'm going to be here, I planned on if I was going to move, do it then, but I've got to let some things go. Other people can use them, and if I'm not wearing it and I'm not using it, it's not fair. Let other people use it. So these were $11.88. These are extra large. They were the only pair um, they do have a drawstring, so I think they're going to be all right. But I really loved, they've got like stars, and then again, the planets, and they remind me so much of Simon. So I thought these are really nice and warm with the velvet. All right, guys. Well, that is that. Thank you so much for joining me. Actually, this pumpkin is making a mess, so we'll leave him in there. Put the other pumpkin in here. So... Do not worry. I have been kept my eye on everything. So much to talk about. Like I said, I don't want to get into it in this video. But man, oh man, it has been... Uh, it has been quite the adventure out here on these YouTube streets. Um, we got Pete's and the whole cat situation. We got Foodie that was driving earlier in the Get Ready With Me. Uh, talking about the Bobbigan noosh and wanting to go to Natters. Here you got the cat that is, you know, upset that the maintenance man's scared. She's more worried about her eyelashes than hanging out with the cat. Any other time you're telling the cat to come here, come here, get on the desk, or, you know, hanging out with the cat. Here the cat's scared, and then it's like, you're more worried about getting your eyelashes at the mail. One minute they're moxie lash, now they're glamnetic. Check being a glamnetic. Check my video out about that. I did probably a year ago about the glamnetic lashes. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And um, again, in my personal opinion, I really think even Pete spilled the beans the other day. I really think that Natter's channel, the first one, the main one that they started is under Foodie's name. 
I do. Everybody's like, oh, you know, Foodie has been putting effort in this channel. She had a live stream talking about Baba Ganoush, Baba Ganoush this, Baba Ganoush, Chubby Baba Ganoush, Chubby Bobby Ganoush. Like, dude, she took a bite of this pita chip and was like, oh, I was like I can't imagine dating somebody new. Like I said, leave Natter at the equation. I'm just talking about, let's talk about anybody in general. She has zero table manners at all. She just eating these pita chips like. <laughs> you could tell that the Nashi, the Nashville chicken sandwich, you could tell. She's like, the sauce isn't the same. I think that, yes, you can tell by the color the sauce wasn't the same. But I also think that, you know, between a home-cooked sandwich and a Burger King sandwich, you're going to have that artificially. I just think you can definitely tell, you know, don't get me wrong that the sauce isn't the same color. It's not the same vibe. But in my opinion, our girl is never going to be satisfied. It's never going to taste like a Burger King Nashville chicken sandwich because it doesn't have all that processed, you know, the frozen chicken patty before they put it in the fryer, etc. You know, the sauce probably has MSG and preservatives to things to keep it, you know, fresh. They're not making Nashville chicken sauce, the hot chicken sauce at Burger King. So it's never probably going to have that, you know, but you can tell, like I said, by the color, but not going to let my secret out. I know daggone well how to make that sauce, but maybe we'll have to make our own Nashville chicken sandwiches. So, I made a really cool soup yesterday. All I was wanting was soup. I hadn't been hungry for the last couple days. So, I'm going to have to show you guys, once I get through this batch of soup, I found a really cool recipe one of my friends gave me. And I kind of need to, like, tweak it to my own. And I figured out how to do that by making it. So... Really cool recipe for soup. It's not a chicken tortilla soup, but it kind of has vibes of that. But I will show you how to make it next time I make it. Um, it's a one pot crock pot banger. Um, it's easy. It's good. It's filling. It's yummy. You know I'm all about one pot meals. Quick, easy, boom, done, served out the way. So, yeah, so we'll get into everything that's going on tomorrow. Like I said, leave me a thumbs up. Make sure you're still subscribed. And thank you for sticking with me. And thank you for hanging out with me. I know, guys. I, I really, like, it drives me crazy to come on here and be like, oh, I'm not feeling good. or eh, eh, eh. So that's why tonight I was like, yo, I'm missing an action. They probably wonder where I'm at. I've seen in the comments, like, where are you at? So I don't like to leave you hanging. And I was like, man, I don't want to get on here and tell them that I haven't been feeling good. But I'm sure they wonder where I'm at. So have a great day. Have a great night. Again, turn on your notifications and we will get right back at it tomorrow. Unless I'm feeling horrible. But hopefully, like I said, been trying to get around, move around, sweat it out run the sweeper, do all that good stuff. So hopefully I'm like, all right. I love you guys. Have a great day. Great night. Thumbs up. And thanks again. Kai out.